I was curious, how tough can a 3D printed case really be? How water resistant are they? If I ran them over with my truck, would they just shatter? Well, only one way to find out. Welcome to Filament Fabrication. Here's a look at the five cases we'll be printing, reviewing, and testing today. The first design we'll be taking a look at we found over on Printables. The designer Richard says it's waterproof-ish, but what really piqued my interest is that the box is 100% 3D printed. There's no metal hardware used on the latches, just pieces of filament. And once we brought the files into Bamboo's slicer, everything loaded really nicely. One thing to note is that the lid will need some supports. But other than that, we should be good to go. So let's see how it turns out. Straight out of the printer, I'm really happy with how this came out. The pieces printed very well, and the only post-processing I had to do was just to remove the supports. If you're interested in printing this design for yourself, there's a super helpful GIF showing the assembly on Richard's page. This case uses a piece of TPU for the seal, along with a satisfying two-part latch. It also happens to be the only case we tested that latches on all four sides. The dimensions shown here are for his most popular downloaded case but if you like the design, he offers three standard sizes along with the option to go in and modify the files as needed. For the waterproof test, we'll be placing a blue shop towel inside the case. If the shop towel gets wet, it will turn a dark blue. You'll hold each box under the water for 15 seconds, then take it out and see how much water, if any, got inside. As I watch this clip back now, I see that I may have gotten a small drop of water on the towel before the test started. I do apologize for that. This isn't a perfect scientific test by any means, just a general way to see how waterproof or water resistant these cases might be. During the test, I didn't see many air bubbles, so let's see how this case did. Looks like for the most part, the towel was dry, only a few drops of water. Pretty impressive. Let's see how it does getting run over by a truck. Well, that didn't sound too good. Let's see what the damage is. We placed an egg inside each box before running them over to see how well the cases were at protecting them. Upon further inspection, it appears the corner of the lid is what failed. Although it did fairly well on the waterproof test, I can't say it passes getting run over by a truck. The second case we found is a stout utility case over on Maker World. The creator Sapira lists the hardware needed for the case as well as dimension drawings and links to other sizes on his page. This case will take four separate print plates. The creator suggested two walls and 12% infill, but in order to keep the comparisons as close as possible, we'll be increasing to six walls and 25% sparse infill density. For all the other settings, we'll be going with the designer's recommendations. Looking at the Sapir case post print, it appears very robust, assembly was easy, and the only thing I'm not the biggest fan of is the latches are a bit difficult to operate and not as smooth as some of the other designs. There's also some files for some great insert dividers, but we'll be taking those out when we do the strength test. Feel free to pause it if you want a closer look at the dimensions. Since this case doesn't latch on all four sides like the first design we looked at, I'm guessing it won't be able to keep out water as well. Comment below what your favorite case is at the end of the video, and we'll pick one subscriber and send you the case of your choice. Looks like there were quite a few bubbles and the case did take on some water. Based on this result, I wouldn't be too worried if I left this case out in the rain. So now that we know how this does resisting water, let's see how it holds up to the truck. I think that this design will probably give us our best shot at protecting the egg and the case still surviving as well. Wow, I'm really impressed with how well that did, especially given the fact that these cases are just printed with PLA Tough, and it doesn't even look like the egg has a scratch on it. After reviewing this case more closely in the studio, it looks like it did before I ran it over. The latches still open and close, hinges look just fine. If you're looking for a case that can withstand a beating, this design might be a great one to look at. When it came time to choosing the next case we were going to test, we knew that no list would be complete without the witty. This award-winning design has been remixed over 416 times, so you're bound to find one that works for you. If you'd still like to customize your own, there are Fusion 360 files available to download. We'll be going with the same settings as before for the wall loops and infill density. All the files imported into the slicer really well, and it looks like this whole print will fit on one plate. So let's see how it goes. All right, so taking a look at this post print, I'm not seeing any issues. I can see why it's such a popular design. The latches feel very smooth, and this design uses six M3 by 30 millimeter fasteners to put together. 
I'm interested to see how this TPU seal will hold up against our waterproofing test. So with the Witty being a more popular design, I had slightly higher hopes for it, but as soon as this box went in the water, it wasn't looking good. There was a continuous stream of bubbles coming out of it, and just as I feared, this box took on a lot of water. Let's hope it fares better in the strength test. All right, so we have the egg and the Witty now. Let's run it over and see how it does. Looks like the case survived. What about the egg? All right, looks like the egg survived with just a minor hairline fracture, but overall survivable. Since the height of the egg was so close to the lid when it was run over, the lid flexed a little bit, slightly cracking the egg, but I couldn't find any damage to the case itself. This next case we found over on Thingiverse, designed by ZX82Net, not only has an articulating latch design, but it also has an articulating hinge design as well. We chose version 1 for our testing, but there are multiple versions of this box, including various hinge and latch designs, as well as Fusion 360 files. We had no issues importing the files, and everything fit nicely on one plate. After getting this off the printer, very little cleanup was needed, and assembly was fairly straightforward. The latches on this design are very nice to operate and have a satisfying click when latched. Due to the articulating hinge design, this case requires some alignment when closing. It's important to keep in mind that none of the creators are claiming these cases are waterproof, but if you think you could create a large case that would be both waterproof and could pass our strength test, please send it to us. We'd love to test it. So far, it seems the cases that have a printed TPU seal have been performing more poorly in the waterproof test than those just using a strand of TPU straight off the roll. Looks like this case isn't even flinching. And it appears the egg is perfectly intact. As far as I can tell, there isn't anything wrong. Everything appears to be in perfect working order. I thought the articulating hinges and latches might get messed up, but they are working just fine. I'd say this one passed the strength test with flying colors. Our fifth and final case we'll be taking a look at by Michelin is a bit different than the others, but still shares similar features in that it latches and has a TPU seal, so I wanted to see how this one compared. The files were breezed to download for the first print profile, and due to the smaller size of this case and the designer's recommendation, we opted to go with two walls and 15% infill, unlike the other cases we printed. The parts have a very quality look and feel to them, tolerances seem perfect, and I especially like this textured surface. Assembly was easy with only three fasteners, and I think this would make a great addition to any travel kit or EDC. These dividers are handy but easily removable, and I like the fact that you can open and close this case with just one hand. With all that out of the way, let's see how this last one does against the waterproof test. This is the first design we've seen that hasn't had a single air bubble escape, so I'm hopeful that we might finally have a winner. And it looks like we finally do. Not a single drop of water on the towel or in the case. Very impressive. So the store was fresh out of quail eggs, and I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have fit anyway. So we'll just be testing this case by itself. Looks like we have a design that passed both tests perfectly. Even with a thorough inspection back in the studio, I don't see any signs indicating that this had just been ran over. So I can say without a doubt that your Q-tips will never be safer. After reviewing and testing all these different designs, my favorite case is the Michelin. It just feels like something you might buy in a store. I just wish it was big enough to fit my business cards. My other favorite is the Sapira. It's a very rugged design, and for my purposes, it's water resistant enough. The inserts are handy, and I feel like it will be great for organizing around the shop. If you have any ideas for what you'd like us to test next, let us know down in the comments. And if you feel we've earned your subscription, don't forget to hit that button. Thank you so much for watching.